Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on setting up the recording software that comes packaged with the AVTech AVI-212 and the AVI-202 cameras that are available for resale on our, on our website apexcctv.com. What I'm going to be covering in this is how to set up and configure and add cameras to the recording software as well as setting up the schedule and how to do playback. The first thing you will need to do is install the software located on the disc labeled Video Viewer and Driver. It's one of the two CDs that come packaged with your camera. When you insert the disc, it will automatically start the installation. And all you need to do is accept all the defaults all the way through the installation. In the interest of time, I've already installed this because it does require a computer restart. And after my computer is restarted, I now have an icon titled Video Viewer on my desktop. When I double click that, it launches the software. And I've got two main sections. I have the main view and playback window, as well as the flyout window that adapts based upon which menu I am currently in. The first thing you will need to do is connect to your cameras to the software, and there's two ways you can do that. You can click on this address bar here, and if you know the IP address and settings of your camera, you can click on the plus sign and just manually enter in your IP address, user ID and password, and the other settings that are involved, or you can have it search the network for your cameras. If your computer that you've installed the software on and cameras are on the same network, it will automatically find these cameras. To finish the configuration, you just double click on the camera, enter in your user ID and password, click on get type, and you can apply a comment such as a location in this case I'm going to title it sales floor because this is a demo camera that is located on our sales floor and click apply connect to the live to in order to connect to the live video stream just double click on the camera it will log in and I do have audio available on this particular camera And from this window, if I want to just do a manual recording, I can just click the record checkbox and you'll see the little dot located down here in the bottom right of the video viewer is blinking red. Or I can uncheck that and I can apply a schedule or motion detection or any number of uh, different settings, which I'm going to cover here in just a minute, by clicking on the miscellaneous controls. Now you'll notice that everything changes here and I have the ability to adjust the volume of the audio coming out of the camera. I can mute the speaker. I can adjust the color settings of the camera so I can adjust brightness, contrast, I can adjust the hue. and I can also adjust the color saturation and then once I've completed that you'll notice that the changes take effect once I click on the checkbox or I can return the settings to default by cl clicking this box I'm going to close that window now 